Off Maskin, I presume. Darth Barris sent me. I've liberated your ship. Where is Admiral Monk? Well, well. Come to inspect the scene of the crime, eh? Admiral Monk and his top men jettison down to Quesh. I am so sorry you missed him. Are you here to deliver his reward? Offer congratulations? What are you talking about? This was a secret attack, yet I come out of hyperdrive to find the Republic's most decorated Admiral laying in wait. Admiral Monk had my force field and docking codes. This stinks of a setup. I suggest you clean house and find the rat. This was no Imperial leak. Your master's master is Darth Benjamin. Barras manipulated him into this attack in order to ruin him. I've had a bellyful of Sith infighting, always undermining Imperial operations. It's why we have yet to crush the Republic outright. I don't have time for this. I have to hunt down Admiral Monk. Don't you turn your back on me. You are going to answer for this. Men, kill the Sith. Darth Vengeance will reward us. <laughs> What does Barris think he's doing, sending you here after me? Is he trying to make it look good? Give himself an alibi? Because you can tell him mission accomplished. Almost all of my men are dead. You've done a great job making this look legit. Now back off! You're in league with Barris. Aren't you smart? Yes, of course, idiot. These are my senior officers. We all defected over a decade ago and have been working for Barris since. But wait. He didn't know this? He didn't tell you we were following his command? It must have slipped his mind. Things don't slip that man's mind. Every expression is a deliberate act. Surely you can see how foolish this is. Our covers are intact. We can make an incredible difference for him in the war. Why would he order our deaths? This is the eventual fate of every spy, Admiral. I suppose you're right about that. But he can't think that we're going to take this lying down. Men, our master has decided we're expendable. Let's prove otherwise. I pity you, his blind, obedient lapdog. No one's safe with Barris. Not even you. If he tries to betray me, he's in for a big surprise. So naive. You're nothing. Nothing compared to him. Apprentice, my master Darth Vengeon is distraught. With his covert attack exposed, the Treaty of Coruscant has been broken. And apparently, Moff Maskin did not survive Admiral Monk's ambush. What happened? It seems to me there was more going on here than you led me to believe. Figured it out, did you? Yes, Apprentice. Admiral Monk was my minion. And I orchestrated the ambush and Darth Vengeance's blunder. Don't let this newfound knowledge confuse you. What was the purpose of this? I understand your desire to know more. But I must keep this affair my own for now. All will become clear soon. Now. The final Plan Zero target has been discovered. The hunt for Jedi Knight Zerinder takes you to Hoth. Contact me when you arrive. My lord, I've been tracking a series of broken Imperial signals on an encrypted channel. Tremendous interference. I've identified the source, Major Ovech, commander of Moth Broisk's elite infiltrator unit. But that's all. Is there any reason I should care about this? If you value my instincts, I served with Major Ovech under Moff Broisk. The man is an unmatched officer. Moff Broisk's command ship does not respond when hailed. My gut says there's trouble. Permission to investigate further. Your compulsiveness is exhausting, Captain. Since you're so wound up, pursue this as you see fit. Sorry, my lord. And thank you. Master. 
I should have requested an audience with you some time ago. I have exciting news. In an effort to pull my own weight, I've been reaching out with my senses. I'm becoming aware of other Sith who operate in contradiction to the Empire. I find that very hard to believe. It took me by surprise as well. But I'm telling you, I'm almost 100% sure. As my senses reach out, I recognize certain signatures, several that are like looking into a mirror. I'm seeing the same insecurity that I feel as I feign loyalty to the Empire. If there are others like us, we should find them. This must be handled delicately, Jaysa. I'd rather you didn't pursue it than risk exposing us. Master, I hope you have faith in me. I promise to take no unnecessary risks and to only act after you have been consulted. Sometimes I think it's just better to be born male. At least if you're a slave. I keep thinking of Tiva, my sister. She wasn't strong enough to work in the mines, but she got more beautiful every year. Her mother tried to hide it with mud and filthy clothes. She was afraid that if Tiva was discovered, she'd be taken away for other work? Other work? That's putting it nicely. Anyway, I've got some credits put aside. I want to hire a tracker to find Tiva and mother. I just need to use the Imperial data files on board. Get some leads for the tracker to start with. That okay? Of course, Vet. Whatever will help. You're the best! Okay, next free moment I have, I'll start running some searches. My lord, I was able to clear the channel and get to the bottom of Major Ovich's relays. He's in a state of emergency. Patching him through now. My lord, your captain there is one in a million. I'd given up hope anyone out there would hear my distress calls. I don't know what this is about. Well, let me tell you the horror story. Morph Boris dispatched me and my officers to a secret weapons warehouse on Cato Nemoidia. Trouble is, it ain't a secret no more. We're holed up, surrounded by Republic forces. I'm trying to get Broisk to send the rest of my unit, but he's gone radio silent. It's worse than that, my lord. The Major's ship has been commandeered by Broisk's personal commandos and ordered to stay put. That tears it. Seen it a hundred times with Broisk. Better to cut bait and let good soldiers die than admit a mistake. Most people in power are driven by ego over integrity. Broisk wrote the handbook on that. Enemy was pausing between breaths, gearing up to charge again. Looks like the end of the line for me, but I'm not going out without a fight. Ovech, out. My lord, Major Ovech would be a terrible loss. I served on his ship, know it like the back of my hand. I can infiltrate and try to restore command to his men. Then they would be free to join the fight. You're going to take on an entire troop of commandos alone. A frontal assault would take too long and risk losing or damaging the ship. My plan is to infiltrate and liberate. I'll give you a full report when I return. My lord, returning from action. Pleased to report Major Ovech and most of his officers have been saved. I was able to infiltrate Ovech's starship and seize control of the operating systems. I identified where his men were being held, freed them, and locked Moff Broisk's occupying force on the bridge. Ovech's men promptly rescued him. The Moff must be pitching a fit. How does it feel to thwart your nemesis? My lord, I merely ensured that a great asset of the Empire wasn't squandered. Nothing more. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll return to my duties. My lord, I am docked at the space station above Hoth. Very good. Now that Admiral Monk and the War Trust have fallen to your might, all that remains is Jedi Knight Zerinder. Zerinder has dedicated himself to the Republic like no other. He's led our enemies to many cunning victories. Not only is he a symbol of inspiration for the Republic, he's been a thorn in my side for a long time. Is he a legitimate target for Plan Zero, or is this just a vendetta? Why can't it be both? The satisfaction will be compounded when he is no more. The Chiss traitor you spared confirmed Zerinder's presence, and has since informed me that the Jedi is seeking a secret superweapon. I can uncover no information about this weapon, 
only that it was lost in the wreckage of one of the crashed starships from the war. That's very little to go on. Zerinder is a shrewd target. We're fortunate to have this much insight. Killing him is paramount. If you discover the super weapon, all the better. Your contact on the surface is Commander Lanklin. He's been tracking Zerinder and should be ready to meet you at the Imperial base. The Commander occasionally bites off more than he can chew, but he's been warned that this mission cannot afford anything less than perfection. Zerinder is the last of your targets. Report to me when you know the nature of the super weapon he seeks. Get this right, apprentice. Hoth. Back in the day, I managed to escape assignment here. It chills my bones just to be in orbit above this frigid planet. Um, yeah, you should <coughs> leave me on the ship. I'm... <coughs> I think I'm fighting off a cold. <coughs> Forget those cowards, my lord. A little snow won't stop me. I'm ready for action. I too would gladly accompany you on this mission, my lord. I wish to see all the galaxy has to offer. I seek Commander Lanklin. My lord, I am Ensign Slint, Commander Lanklin's second in command. You've arrived sooner than expected. The commander is in the field, tracking Jedi Zerender, but has failed to report in. His tracer beacon hasn't moved for quite some time. I don't like the sound of that. Nor do I. The commander is always punctual. This planet is a pitfall of hazards. There's a massive Republic presence, and all manner of power-hungry alien pirates. Our forces are stretched thin. A rescue party for Commander Lanklin would take several days to put together. I'll make sure Lanklin is brought to safety. I'm relieved, my lord. Here is the location indicated by the Tracer Beacon. It's in hostile territory. There are rumors of a heavily defended pirate stronghold in that sector. It will be hard to get in. The tougher, the better. I hope you are successful, my lord. The pirates hate the Empire. If Commander Lanklin has fallen into their clutches, I hate to think what's happened. My lord, is that you? I heard the sounds of battle outside and grew hopeful. Just tell me everything you know about Jedi Knight Zerinder. Uh, yes, my lord. Jedi Zerinder is a crafty adversary. I thought I was tracking him and his men when I found myself led into a pirate ambush. It seems he had the Republic's elite Tal's commandos lure me off his trail. The Tal's are unmatched trackers. Highly cunning. So, you know nothing of Zerinder's mission or destination? Well, I, I suppose, practically speaking, that is the case. I can tell you this. If Zerinder's been given command of the Tal's, this weapon he's after must be supremely important. I know where the Tal's headquarters is located. Maybe you can force one of them to confess what Zerinder's after. I suppose that will have to suffice. I wish there was more I could do. I hope this lead makes up for my... blunder. I'll rendezvous with you at the outpost in the next sector, and we can update Lord Barris. All that's left. Everywhere I turn, the monster appears. Why do you torment me? I'm not part of your vendetta. What? A Sith? First Zerinder abandons me. Now this? Your name, Jedi, and your connection to Zerinder, now. I am Zerinder's errand boy. The one he leaves behind to die. At least a Sith I can see and fight straight up. I won't be assassinated in the dark like these poor Tals. My master would tell me not to attack, but he's not here. Defend yourself, Sith! Bah, go ahead and kill me. I didn't want to die at the hands of the beast anyway. I seek Jedi Zerinder. Tell me where he is and what he is searching for. Zerinder. He refused to let me come with him. He left me here to face death. Tal's warned my master about Brunmark. He's a savage Tal, seeking revenge on Fitzellan and the others for ousting him. But did Zerinder care? No. Now Brunmark's in here somewhere, murdering... Wait! Did you hear that? No. He's... He's... You cannot scare me.
What are you going to do about it? You would be wise to stay out of my way, Tarls. Sorry if you're disappointed with the results. Get this Jedi off my hollow lantern now. I I, I can't. Sarand has overridden all my controls. As you can see, Barris, I control this planet. I've tapped your communications and can anticipate your every move. As Commander Lanklin knows firsthand, the Tauls keep me one step ahead of even you. I've never seen you speechless, Master. I have. If only I'd taken the opportunity to shut him up permanently. I'm not here for a reunion, Barris. The last time we met, you were left drained and weaponless. This time, you won't be so lucky. My lord, I, I'm sorry, I... You have failed me for the last time, Lanklin. Ensign Slint, you are now coordinator of my dealings on Hoth. Don't screw it up, Commander. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Apprentice, you better have good news for me. Save your strong arm tactics for the grunts. The lost superweapon Zerinda seeks is actually a Jedi Master named Wyalet. Ah, Master Wyalet. Now I understand why Zerinda would risk exposure. Before his capture during the war, Wyalet was among the Jedi's most powerful masters. The ship transporting him to me was destroyed in a fierce space battle in this system. I assumed he'd perished, but... Apparently, the great Darth Barriss is not immune to blunders himself. All beings blunder. I have survived my mistakes. Will you? During the war, Zerinder was Master Wyalet's Padawan. We battled. Wyalet took my lightsaber and used it from then on. If Wyalet is on Hoth, so is my blade. I will concentrate to locate it. Yes, there. Coordinate sent, Commander. Now go, Apprentice. Find the lightsaber and the Jedi. My lord, the area indicated is an uncharted quadrant where black marketeers are said to operate. What will you have me do while you're away? Dispose of Lanklin's body, Commander. The Emperor's speed to you, my lord. <laughs> Nice price for something we thawed out from the ice. The lightsaber is yours. Glad we could do business together, Tolls. Hand the lightsaber to me. Another interested party. I smell a bidding war. We're open to offers. <laughs> your blasters. I did not know I would face Tars here. How do I know you're not making this up? <laughs> 
you should rethink your life's goals. <laughs> Fed Zelen might kill you, then where would I be? Come on, just let the thing kill the other thing and join our group. I'll take you on, but the blubbering must cease. I'm pleased to have you along. Maybe you can help me bone up on my talsy, huh, Brunmark? <laughs> eyes are still adjusting, but I have no trouble recognizing you, Brave Zerinder. The sight warms me. Master Wyatt, your ordeal has ended. I only wish I'd heard you reaching out to me sooner. Do not denigrate yourself. It took great concentration to summon you, all these many years entombed in this rubble. I have fed off the Force, and have great insights to impart. This should be good. I can't wait to hear it. What's this? I sense a presence. Barris. Indeed. This is Darth Barris's apprentice, come to stop me from returning you to your command. Conserve your strength, Master. My men and I will dispatch this interloper. It's useless to defy me. Strong words from someone so drastically outnumbered. I see you've managed to tame that sadistic Tolls. It won't help you. To arms, men! Protect Master Wyatt at all costs! <laughs> Stop, Sith. Had my strength returned before this moment, I would have kept Zerinder from engaging you. Now he is down, and your fight has made this chamber unstable. It is nearing an inevitable collapse. You've proven your superiority. Let me bargain for Zerinder's life. Talk, but make it fast. This fight was unnecessary. I have no intention of returning to fight for the Republic. Zerinder's young and driven. Yet he has only begun to grasp the ways of the Force. In truth, I was the same until being buried on her. Here I communed with the Force, to the exclusion of all else. This means nothing to me. I should mean nothing to you as well, then. The Force is with me, greater than ever now. I suspect that I could defeat you quite handily, but I'm no longer concerned with the tidings of this galaxy, or these times only seek to continue my transcendence. How can I be sure you're telling the truth? Only a coward lies. The Force has elevated me above such frailties. I have no fear of you. This excavation site is nearing collapse. Should we battle, we would both be crushed. Allow Zerinder and me to be buried here for eternity. Your objective will be met. Our lives will be richer. Finding oneness with the Force. I can't let you become even stronger. Then you leave me no choice but to fight you. Know this. My journey will continue. Either I vanquish you quickly and leave this planet to commune with the Force, or we duel. 
until the inevitable collapse of this chamber. This fighting is foolish, Seth. The chamber nears collapse. Persist and you will perish. Well, I will simply return to my trance and commune once more with the Force. Walk away now with your mission complete. And I will live out my life buried here, at one with the Force. Commune with the Force under rubble, then. Then save yourself and leave this place before the ceiling crashes down. I will protect Xerander and prepare myself for the collapse. You have my gratitude, Sith. A precise lightsaber sweep as you exit will cause the cave-in. Princess, you are looking at a very pleased man. Admiral Munt destroyed. The War Trust, no more. Now, with Jedi Zerinder and Master Wyatt neutralized, all of the Republic's most vaunted leaders are no more. Plan Zero is complete. Spread the word of my success. It only matters that I know and acknowledge your accomplishment. There is more to discuss. Much of it of a sensitive nature which I do not wish to convey via hollow. Return to my chambers here on Drummond Cass immediately. Every friend I come to brag about this post has already heard of you. Never served under a Sith Lord before. Not sure how promotion works. Heard a few tales, though. It's kill or be killed. You can always be replaced. Might have been easy to get this far. Might have been a war. Either way, good story. Picture the worst, and then double it. Bet you've had to keep your eyes open the whole way. Not so different from the military. Cross the wrong people, and they assign you to some graveyard swamp like Taris. That post was a dead end. Got out by threatening to blab about Moff Herden's Rodian mistress. Blackmail me, and your reassignment will be permanent. Don't worry. Dead men don't get promoted. You have something to tell me? Yes, Master. I have good news. I've located the Sith I sent who are secretly opposing the Empire. It's unmistakable. They're clearly turning away from the dark side. I hope you'll allow me to reach out and befriend them. Ahem. <clears throat> Often come here when I'm off duty. First time I've heard anything interesting. Don't pretend to understand Sith business. But you're not allying with traitorous Sith, are you? This does not concern you, Pierce. Yes, right. Exactly, Master. The Lieutenant's insinuation is an insult. He'd better take care not to repeat the offense. Noted. Won't happen again. Sorry, Master. I was just so excited about my discoveries, I forgot myself. I hope he bought it. The situation is under control. He is none the wiser. I hope you're right. I'll be doubly careful from now on. With your permission, I'll head out to find the light-leaning Sith I'm sensing. It will be so invigorating to unite others like us. We can begin to build a movement! It won't be easy. I hope you can handle this responsibility. I won't let you down. I'm off. Wish me luck, Master. Master, I'm barely holding it together. My mission... To unite with the light-leaning Sith, it was awful. They didn't trust me. They thought I was trying to trick them. The confusion I read in them. The fear. I still feel it. What's worse? Most of them fled, but a few... They attacked me. And I had to... They forced my hand, Master. That is truly awful news. I understand your despair, Jaser, but this is not your fault. You tried. No matter the outcome, you did the right thing. It means so much to me that you're here. I hope your support helps drive the pain away. This has been a difficult lesson. Thank you for your guidance and wisdom, Master. You 
wanted to talk. I did it. Maybe you didn't think I could, but I did. A Kubas tracker named Krata found my sister Tiva. Found where she worked, even the name of her boss. She's on Nar Shada. Can you believe that? Krata wouldn't tell me any more until I paid him, but he found her. No time like the present. You are the best. We need to meet Krata the Kubas in a cantina on Nar Shada. I'll settle the bill with them, get the specifics, and then see my sister. <laughs>